the whole purpose of us doing this project is we're trying to develop ways to um, cultivate uh, blue and red king crab from broodstock. Uh, the ultimate goal is to be able to cultivate them to the stage where we can be release them into the ocean to try to enhance the natural stock. One of the big things about the king crab in Alaska is it's such a big fishery here, you know. It's one of the most important commercial crustacean fisheries in the world. And king crab is, you know, one of the most important fisheries to Alaska. The red king crab came from Bristol Bay and the blue king crab came from uh, Little Diamond. Diamond has the best population of blue king crab in anywhere in the state, basically. There's a really small population of people here who are using them for subsistence purposes. Something's down there, I gotta check. Unless it's a little. Uh, we got two shipments of blue king crab from Little Diomede. Uh, the first shipment had eggs that were uneyed, meaning they weren't gonna hatch that year, they were gonna hatch the following year. Uh, and so we still have those here at the Seward Marine Center, and we're holding them until next year when we think they'll hatch. So there's about 50 days, give or take, uh, as larvae, and then they molt into, into juveniles where they're on the bottom of the ocean. And so they've been juveniles for about 110 days. Well, if this project, you know, develops more and becomes successful, then we can release crab back into the ocean, it's possible that they may contribute to the fishery. You know, this could be one potential way to reopen that.